Now Collective, going about my day here, got called to um, do a message. Um, this is going to be, well, it's a general collective message, but um, some of it I feel like already is going to be kind of, kind of what we're all going through, but there will be some specific things here for some specific people. I had two cards that popped out, okay, which really aligned with what you know, I kind of felt like I was being called to read on, right? We've got true love. Your wholesomeness and safety lie within, not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you stop using others. Okay? Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. And true love is about loving ourselves here. I feel like somebody's really in despair. I feel... This is what I'm feeling, okay, which is why I was called to do the reading. I'm seeing somebody that just keeps going through these loops. Like, it might be different people, but it's like the same energy, okay? And they're kind of like, you know, they've been blaming these other people and like hating all these other people when really it's what they're carrying, okay? This can have to do, uh, somebody I see specifically has childhood trauma, Okay, uh, for some of you, it was birth trauma. It could be, you know, some kind of past like karmic imprint. Could be something that maybe you weren't even aware of. Something that happened to you that put you in a state of paralyzation or panic or something like that. That you might have thought that you just like totally completely got over. And here it's like coming up subconscious on a subconscious level too. I see somebody really in despair right now. Okay, I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit, lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel, vessel, excuse me, for your love. Okay, if you are in magnanimous despair here, understand, first of all, that you are not alone. Okay. Um, if somebody is really at teetering, you know, there are hotlines 24 seven in almost every country of the world. A lot of people watch from different places. Know that your soul's light is important on this earth. Every single soul that's here is here for a reason. Okay. And, um, please understand that people care about you. Um, I got the mirror coming out who or what is triggering you and what i'm seeing here and what this reading is telling me okay again i see somebody that is literally mirroring you know like they're creating a story in their head and they're projecting it on these other people right like these other people could have nothing to do with what's going on and then when these people react they use it as a confirmation or a validation okay yes see i was right this is what's happening when really they're like creating this whole story. And by showing, you know, that kind of, uh, that energy to that person, of course, they're going to get defensive, right? <laughs> because you're coming at them like that. All right. We've got the mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Align your life. Okay. What is not aligned or what does, what needs to change? Notice that we have somebody whose pieces are not put together here. Okay. Notice how it's all distorted there all right like somebody is just not seeing things correctly and it has to do with what's coming out of you okay age of light you have been training for this for lifetimes a lot of people in this lifetime are being called here not only to heal themselves but to heal generations okay generations of stuff here this is the time that this is happening here on the planet all right. Um, and there are great rewards here. Okay. We're all kind of being called to come into our authentic power here. I'm going to pull some tarot cards here. Again, I really feel like this is for somebody. So it could be you. It could be somebody that you know. It could be somebody that you love and care about that is just repeating cycles here. And they're, they're, you know, what they're seeing is so distorted. I feel like they might have even gone to try to talk to somebody and um, they might be going a lot of different routes when really what they don't understand is they have been running their whole lives from basically themselves, okay? Whatever they're carrying inside is what is causing all this drama. And in the meantime, they're like spewing it out 
on all these other people. I hear somebody like screaming like, I hate you, I hate you, when really what they are saying, okay, is that they hate themselves. Because if you're calm and you're peaceful and you're in your life, even if somebody hurts you, you don't react that way, right? Like this is somebody that is, um, well, I'm, I'll, I'll wait for a second on that, okay? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like for some some of you um, have been really trying to do work on yourselves here, okay? Four of Swords, um, you really need rest. I feel like somebody might be a workaholic, like they are they are using work to displace and not, um, they might have excelled really well in their careers, okay? Because they can shut down anything that has to do with their inner self. They just, uh, they go into like career mode and, you know, they just do that. And what's happening now, especially with what's going on in the universe right now, the planet, is that things are starting to integrate. And if if there's no matching up, right? There's no balance. They're not going to integrate. And, and that's why everybody's having issues or, you know, that's why you're going to have issues. This could actually turn into an illness. Okay. Like this could manifest physically if it hasn't already. And I'm hearing for some of you, you have known about a situation in your, in your health, um, and kind of just denied it. Right. And this has been going on for years here. Okay, what's causing it is at a deep, like psychic, psych, psyche level. Okay, right? Strength is upside down. Okay, this is the self regulation card. This is how we level up on our spiritual journey, on our life path, right? Okay, yeah, I feel like for some of you, you're kind of living like this double life right? You're acting one way and you're doing this and you might be really authentic while you're in that moment or it feels authentic, but in the background, you've got like this totally separate life going on that does not align with anything that you're putting out, okay? Or vice versa, all right? So it feels kind of like you're sneaking. You have to put up these boundaries. You're always on guard. You're always checking over your shoulder. I mean, that's exhausting, first of all. Yeah, I've got a Knight of Swords here in the reverse. I wondered if this card was going to come out. And um, I thought it was going to come out in the upright. When it comes out in the uh, reverse, it's even more volatile. Okay? Knight of Swords is known for being a great warrior. Like sharp intellect, you know, um, rushes in without even thinking. Right? Like I'm, you know, it's, it's this... It's the, um, the, you know, like the hero story, okay, but it's, it's distorted, all right? This is, I kind of think of Lancelot when I see this card, you know, in the Arthurian um, tales. Lancelot was a great warrior. He was Arthur's best friend, but he turned around and slept, slept with his wife, right, behind his back. Like they, you know, this, the way the story goes, they didn't, they weren't honest with him, Right? They were both lying, right? And that's kind of what I feel. This person is arrogant, um, especially in the reverse. It's arrogance. It's short-sightedness. It's volatility. It's, you know, lashing out, anger. Um, um, this person can be dangerous. You know, here, you know, they're kind of running in and they're saying, I'm going to trade control because I know how to do it. Meanwhile, they haven't even talked to anybody, right? Like, I'm the only one that knows how to do this, right? I'm just going to do it. You guys have to step in line. That's the energy. But they don't even realize they're a knight. They're not a king, right? <laughs> like, they're not an emperor. They're not a king. They're just a knight. But people can step back from this and kind of let that person kind of do their thing and then, you know, step in, okay? But in this energy... In the reverse, this is somebody that is extremely volatile. I feel like this person is already self-sabotaging, self-harming. I feel like there's an addiction here for somebody. I see alcohol. I see pills with alcohol. Um, I see somebody, um, uh, I see, oh, I don't know how to, I try to be careful what I say on the channel here. I forget everybody's an adult because I do, I do spend time with children. So forgive me if I hesitate. I feel like there's pornography involved. This person has completely isolated themselves from the world saying nobody is good enough. Okay. And what they don't realize is it's actually 
It's a coping skill. It's protection. Okay. And what it actually is doing to them is making them more sick. Yeah. We've got the fool in the reverse and we've got judgment in the reverse here. Okay. And this, I, I'm telling you, I can feel this energy. It is like making me sick to my stomach right now. My head is throbbing. I need to just clear this for a second. All right, this person, if they stopped for two seconds and checked in with their body just to see how they were feeling, I got to get this off. Okay. Um, like, they would be like, oh my God, right? But they don't. They just are in complete denial here. Okay, they get snippets here and there. They are trying. Don't misunderstand me. I feel like somebody is actually trying to do better, but they are so shut down and they will not afford themselves the time, real authentic time to heal. Like normally if somebody has an issue with drugs or alcohol, they go to rehab. You do that for a reason, especially with alcohol, right? You know, people go to rehab for alcohol because that's one thing that you you cannot detox yourself from. You can die from that, right? We've got the fool in reverse. Normally, the fool is a new beginning, okay? Um, yes, it might be a little bit of risk, but this is untapped collective knowledge here. This is the promise that, promise that spirit is with you. He, he's got his companion here, okay? It's a childlike adventure spirit, which we're all supposed to kind of keep with us along every day. Like, be grateful every day that you're waking up. See the beauty in every day. Try to keep that, that childlike spirit, right? It's coming up in the reverse. This person is just shut down, all right? We also have the judgment card, which is about decisions, okay? And about moving forward and about getting blessings from the universe. And that is also in the reverse, all right, this person is fractured here. I'm hearing fractured, wounded. Um, they might be getting like really bad dreams at night. They might feel like they're haunted. They might feel like there's things attached to them. Um, you know, they might be feeling that way. Like they've actually had those thoughts, okay? We've got a queen of cups here. Three of cups in the reverse, Five of Wands, Temperance in the reverse, High Priestess in reverse, and Two of Pentacles here. I feel like somebody really did try to reach out to this person or might still be trying to reach out to this person. This person, this person is having nothing to do with it. They are just shut down. Okay? I actually feel like they are enjoying the conflict because it's familiar. They don't know how to be any other way. There's no more patience here right? They don't understand. They're totally blocked off to their intuition and they just keep doing this loop back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. This is sad. This is really, really sad. Okay. I'm going to pull um, some more cards here. If you are this person, there is help out there. Okay. There's hotlines if you want to talk to somebody right away. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got the novice again in reverse. Okay, we've got the owl in reverse. We've got the swan in reverse. Basically, this person is ignoring them. They've totally just decimated their inner child. Like, they are they are beating up their inner child and have been for years. To the point where they're so, like, kind of shut down inside that now they're beating up other people. I see somebody, like, lashing out and, like, laughing about what they're doing to another soul. Okay? That is not a stable person. Right? And they have this somebody. This is somebody that has... You know, the ability, they have abilities here. They have psychic gifts, okay? They have the, the ability to transform here, and it's just shut off along with the wisdom. They're totally confused here, okay? If you're dealing with this person, I would be really, um, you know, I would limit, uh, limit your availability, um, definitely be meeting this person in public because I think, I feel like this person, like a flip just switches, you know, like a, a switch flips. See, I did it backwards and it just goes, blump, 
like this person, this person drinks themselves into a blackout and they really don't know at this point. They've been doing this all so long. They really do not know. Okay. They don't know what they're saying. Occasionally they catch glimmers of what they're saying and doing, but they black out and they think it's funny. Yeah. Feelings and emotion, they are cut off from their passion, their feelings and, the, and emotions here. Whatever they're doing, it's like a facade at this point. Okay? They, they're they the wasp, right? Anger, retaliation, and jealousy. And what they don't understand, the main crux of this whole thing here, is that they are really hating on themselves because they haven't done the healing. So anything that's being projected out into the world is actually heal about is actually how they feel about themselves. Like I hear somebody screaming, I hate you, I hate you. And this is an adult. Okay? And there is no gender here. This is male and female. I am picking up both. Okay? I I am seeing somebody that is is drinking and doing stuff like this to their kids. And as I'm seeing it, I'm saying a silent, you know prayer and lift up to spirit that somebody intervenes so these kids don't get hurt. I see a male. I mean, these are adults that I'm talking about. I see a male that is is highly regarded in his field and just just verbally and mentally and he does it on purpose strategically abuses his family. Okay? Cuz he feels powerless because he is cuz he hasn't done this work. He's powerless over himself, and it just makes him lash out even more. Okay? You do have, somebody out here does have the opportunity here to move forward. All right? I hope that whoever that's listening to me is, whoever needs to, hears this message. Okay? If you are the king of cup, if you are this queen of cups, um... You know, unless you're in a professional, you know, unless this is like a professional, like a therapist or something, you can't fix this person. We can't fix other people. Okay. They have to do, they have to come to the fact that they need it on their own. Right. Yeah. Okay. If you're dealing with the person, you need to set aside the concerns here. All right, this person might come in here as this Knight of Swords. They are upside down. They might promise you the world, promise you a marriage, promise you, you know, the solution to all of your problems. Understand who they are and what they are because you have other things that are coming in for you. You have other options that are out in your community. All right, so let's deal specifically with this person here. If you are feeling this way and you are coming to grips with this, Know that you are loved. Every single one of us makes mistakes. Every single person that came on this earth has their own baggage. There is none better than the other. We are all students. We are all teachers. Tolerance. Okay? You need to take a personal accountability. You need to seek and find the help. What I'm hearing is you have the money to do anything you want to do. You just don't do it. You spend money on drinking, you spend money on trips, you spend money on vehicles or, you know, this or that or clothes or whatever. And all of that money that you spend and it's self-medicating, that's really self-medicating because it, you're just, you know, it's like a band-aid. You know, eventually it gets gross and it falls off, right? Like if you have taken all that money and just maybe gone on a healing weekend, you know, like... Um, and gotten a counselor and, you know, really tried to face up. If you just stayed in and done, you know, self, you know, self work, right? I would say with this kind of um, involvement, this kind of degree of, oh, wow, I'm getting a wave again. Okay, with this degree of what you're dealing with, you need to get help. You need to get some support here. Okay, there are hotlines that you can use until you get plugged in. People were, I know people have been talking about not being able to reach a counselor, things like that, like right away. You can't get in right away. Although I feel like the person, one of the people I'm seeing has money, the a few other ones like don't. So for those of you, 
excuse me, that don't. There are free services around, okay? Might take you a while to get in with your insurance or something. Check, hospitals have a lot of different groups going on. There's online stuff. There's a lot of stuff out there in the world if you really just, you know, take some time. And part of that process of seeking out the help that you need is part of the step towards your healing, okay? You have to do the work yourself. You have to make the decisions yourself. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You need to come back into the strength. You need to self-regulate. Remember, this was in the reverse here. You're, you're letting this entity or this, not this entity, you're letting this dark energy steal all of your power, all of your joy, and it's stealing your health here. I really feel like somebody has an illness that they know about. And I'm going to tell you, when you start clearing all this stuff out, you're going to feel better. Your body is going to work better. It's going to function better because you're not carrying around all this shit here. Okay? I feel like some of you may have, um, there might 